The girl guys want to fuck but never want to date because of big boobs. Okay, so where the fuck is this one going? All right. Um, hey, Bill and Nia, I just turned 29 years old on the 19th, and although I should be feeling great, I've been a little bit down about myself as of recently. I ended a five-year relationship three years ago where I was a lot heavier. I thought my boobs were just bigger because of my weight. I've lost 50 pounds since then, and I look and feel great. However, the boobs never left me. I've been on dates with some guys, but nothing has really come of it. A lot of them just wanted to hook up, and that's not really my style for the first few dates. I try to dress as modestly as I can. I grew up in a strict Catholic household, so I try not to show as much cleave as possible. Uh, it's really hard dressing comfortably without looking like a church choir singer and dying of heat stroke. Uh, parentheses, I live in Arizona. Uh, my girlfriends and I met up for lunch a few days ago. I'm the only single friend without kids in the group. Um, and you know what? I bet a lot of them envy you on a lot of days. So before you get too down on yourself, uh, there's this one lady in the group who no one ever really likes inviting because she's negative and self-proclaimed blunt, a.k.a. says rude ass things just to say them. They don't even make sense. Oh, yeah. You guys say, yeah, you get blunt. I would have used a different word that rhymes with blunt. Uh, anyway, the subject came up of me seeing someone. I mentioned how it's nothing serious. The girl then goes on this rant about how my boobs make me look like a girl's guys just want to want to fuck but never want to date. She said that? She's pointed out that they make me look easy and a fun time girl. She said girls with smaller boobs get taken more seriously because guys get to know her, her personally. With boobs in her face, they cannot. Yeah, she's jealous of you. Also, they don't want to worry about their friends staring. I brushed it off at first, just thinking she was being a bitch, but the more I think of it, the more it bugged me and kind of made sense. Is this true? No. No, it's not even remotely true. That's a cunt. She's a cunt. All right? And your friends just sat back and just let her say that? I got to be honest with you. This sounds like you're one of those real housewife dynamics that I watch my wife watch. And I'm just like, why the fuck would anybody hang out with a person like that? Somebody just said something like that. To, you don't you don't work that out. The fact that she said that and was that fucking rude in public and not thinking about your feelings whatsoever and said it in front of all your friends. Dude, fuck her. And in a lot of ways, fuck your friends. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really should have Nia here for this because that comes into that fucking female shit where you guys are just, you guys are rude and mean to each other on a fucking level that is just like, I don't even get, I, I think it's because you guys don't solve shit physically the way guys do, you know, or the threat. Because with a the guy, there's always that thing in the back of their head where you're thinking like, this, this person could fucking punch me in the face if I go too far here. I got to watch what I'm going to say. And the fact that you guys don't have that, I, you know... I don't know. Um, that made me feel really sad for you. None of that is fucking true. All right? Guys who just see you for your boobs and just want to fuck you, that's, you know, your boobs can actually help you. Because it can help because uh, there's other guys out there that just, there's just many people just want to fuck somebody else. They just want to fuck them. You know what I mean? If you got the boobs, you can see where they're looking. Right? So you can, you can speed date. Your titties are helping you out. You know, I just... Stay single until you meet somebody that is worthy of you not being single. All right? And I like the fact that you don't hook up for a couple, two, three dates. That's a good fucking thing. And I would really just, you know, go out there and ask the questions you want to ask. And, you know, when you start getting the answers you're looking for, that's the person that's worthy of your time. All right? Don't hang out with any more blunt fucking people. What a cunt. Um, ugh. People can't handle me because I just say things. Now, you're a cunt.